Hello everyone, I'm Donovan Darius and we're here with another segment of the series that we've been doing. It's called A Prayer of Praise and Praises. And so during this time, we get a chance to come together and praise God through prayer for the wonderful things that he's doing in our lives. And also during this series, the, we come together with a theme, a theme during the prayer so it can draw you closer to right where you need to be as you're walking out your Christian and spiritual experience. Today's theme we're gonna be talking about is where we are where we currently are, how God sees us, and where we are. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, and we thank you that you have us in the place that you want us to be right now. Thank you, Father God, that even if we got here through wrong choices or indifferences or even rebellion, that you knew our mistakes and the sins before we ever existed. We thank you, Father, that you worked them into your plan to draw us to yourself, to mold and to bless us, and to bless others through us. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that even if we're here through the ill will or poor judgment of other people, that all is well. For in your sovereign wisdom, you are at work to bring about us good results from all those past decisions, those past events beyond our control, the good results both for us and for others. Thank you again that you meant it for the good, the terrible things that happened to Joseph who was sold into slavery, exiled to a distant country, and later sent to a prison on false accusations. And that all through all of this that you had in him in the right place and at the right time for his highly important reasons. I'm glad and we're glad, Father God, Lord, this morning and this day that you are the same today, well able to work things out for us, to turn evil into good. We stand amazed at the complexity and mystery of your wisdom how safe it is for us to trust your reasons for acting or not acting and your methods of working. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we can safely commit our location and situation to you. We can be willing for you to shift us anywhere on life's checkboard, checkerboard or bury us wherever and anywhere in life's garden, gladly yielding ourselves for you to please yourself with anywhere and if any way you choose. Thank you, Father God, that we can trust you with our future places, for you are ready to go, for we are ready to stay. Thank you, Lord, that we rest in the fact that you have us right in the place that you want us today. And we praise you that you will faithfully guide us throughout our, our lives to just where you want us to be as we seek to do your will. And most importantly, Father God, of all places, that place you want us is in you. How delighted we are to have you as our dwelling place where we can settle down we can feel secure, and we can be content anywhere we are on this earth. For you are our blessed home where we can enter and be at rest even when all around us is a sea of trouble. How our soul delights to hide in the secret places of your presence, to take our refuge in the shadow of your wings, to eat at your table, to drink our fill of your river of your delights. How blessed we are, our King and our God that you have chosen us and brought us near to you, to live in your presence, to behold your delightfulness, and to seek your counsel. We thank you, Father God, Lord, that you've done all these things and to think that we will dwell with you in your house forever. We thank you for these blessings. We thank you that, Lord, where we are is exactly where you want us to be. We find our rest in that and we receive our peace in that. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Wow. Think about that. Think about it. No matter what we've been through, no matter where we've gone, no matter what we've done, what we haven't done, God is supernaturally, sovereignly working these things out for our good. Those disappointments, those heartaches, those broken relationships, those setbacks, those failures, those wrong accusations, those belittlements, those moments where people, you know, looked at you out of the side of their eyes, the times they talked about you, all those moments, God is using those moments and working those moments out for your good. What an amazing, what an amazing, amazing truth that is. And so when you think, we think about where we are in God, we're not out there stranded by ourselves. We're not in the middle of the ocean treading water. Well, God, waiting, for, waiting for, for, for a safe boat to come by and rescue us. 
getting tired from treading water and, and going down and, 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 and losing our breath and coming up and, 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 and being frantic. We're, we're not anxious. We're not walking around so nervous. We're not none of those things. But where we are, we're right at the place that God wants us, a place of peace, a place of rest, a place of wholeness as we come into his presence and as we embrace his word, as we live and let go, live this life according to the way God asks us to do it, loving yourself, loving him, loving others. And as we let go, let go of all the things that we think, the entitlement, all the things we think we deserve, all the things that we think should happen, shouldn't happen, we let go of those things and we just let God. And so my encouragement today, as you find yourself wondering, where am I? Where am I? Just be reminded to know that God says, listen, I've, clo I've, clo I've closed you and I called you as my own. As a child of mine, God says, as a child of me, a child of God, he says, you're also a fellow heir with Christ. That means everything that belongs to Jesus, everything, it belongs to you too. And so guess what? You have an inheritance. You have inheritance. God already wrote his trust. He wrote his will down. It's called the Testament. And he wrote it down to let you know that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you even into the ends of the world, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it sounds like, no matter what it feels like, God is here for us and he's here for you. So receive his peace today in Jesus name. You be blessed. So if this message encourages you today, don't forget, share it with someone else, okay? If you're in a desert and you found food, man, and you found something good that was nourishing for you, let somebody else know. Don't forget, if you like these messages, you can find more of these um, on my YouTube page, Donovan Darius Motivates. Um, you can find some more there. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified for future videos as well. You guys, you blessed today. In Jesus' name, peace.